So you've decided that your stream needs a little something extra. You want to add a bot to your chat in order to do things like plug your socials or tell everyone your uptime. Chatbots, especially ones in large ecosystems like Stream Elements or Streamlabs, can do a lot more than what you think. What's up everybody? I'm Dimitri and welcome to the Cadet Gaming Channel. Today's video is going to be focused on getting your bot set up within Stream Elements by adding modules and custom com commands. I'll also show you a few uh, custom commands that I use myself and that you can use if you find them useful. If you have any questions about today's video or about anything you'd like to talk about me about really, I stream Friday to Tuesday on Twitch, so feel free to hop in my chat and say hello. Link in the video description below. Let's hop right into it. Your Stream Elements dashboard, you're going to go down to the little bot section here. We're going to start with modules. Uh, modules are great because they're basically predefined um, things that your bot can do based on events that happen. So the chat alerts are really great for small streamers. You can have your bot automatically post messages in your chat for things like followers, tips, hosts, subscribers, cheers, raids, redemptions in your store, and also people that buy your merch from the store. Um, so you can edit these as much as you'd like. Uh, it gives you some information. A message will be picked randomly if you add multiple, right? Um, and they use the user as your argument or your uh, variable. So when you edit them, make sure you click away before going to the next tab. Um, so for example, if I go and add a bunch of these, click away so that you see the saved uh, icon up here in the top right hand corner before you go to the next tab. And these ones are pretty straightforward. Um, you can use more arguments. Um, you can use currency and a few other things in there as well. Um, hosts and all kinds of things. It has a basically preset. What I would suggest you do is just add a little bit of your own flair. You can add some emotes in there. Just make sure you grab the text for the emote, right? So Twitch Unity and stuff like that. Um, and you can set up multiple messages. You can have it set up for certain months and tons of stuff like that. Um, chat roulette allows players to play games. So roulette, bingo, duel, eight ball, slot machine, uh, and the emote combos are all basically ways for your chat to keep themselves entertained if they want to play things in chat. Um, so the roulette, very straightforward. I basically didn't change any of these default settings, um, but I just turned it on. Uh, it's really fun. People enjoy it. Um, it's basically like a way to like gamble your loyalty points and a lot of my friends enjoy using it. So, you know, bingo is, is really fun as well. Um, you can play bingo and you use emotes and all that kind of stuff. So that's a lot of fun. You need to guess basically which one of the emotes is going to be the bingo emote. Um, Duel lets you face against another uh, user for points and all that kind of stuff. Eight ball, you can customize all these responses and stuff. So you can really customize this one to be however you'd like it to be. Uh, it's pretty fun. And the slot machine, they can gamble their points away. And it does like an emote little slot machine, which is really fun. Combos rewards users for like using like for multiple users to use the same emote in a row. Um, so like that one's always fun. And then the live announcement's just nice. It just tells people when you go live. So if you ever disconnect and then reconnect or whatever, uh, it just throws a little message in the chat. So that one's really great. So the modules, very nice to have. Like I said, I highly suggest setting up the chat alerts. Uh, it's the most useful and they always end up adding new ones or modifying these other ones so uh, keep an eye on this section next we'll go into user management so user management just kind of gets gets uh you know who's your mods here are my vips um it tells you like who your regulars are so they get different uh permissions in your chat um, based on certain commands and stuff which we'll get into in a second um, so for example 
the eight ball, the user level is everybody, right? Um, you can make it so that it's just subscribers. You can make it so that it's only regulars, only VIPs, only moderators, only super moderators, and only the broadcaster, which would be yourself. Um, so you can edit that level on all of these. So that's what the user management allows you to do. Um, it automatically pulls whoever you have as a mod in Twitch as a mod here. So you don't have to worry about mod add adding that yourself. Um, it just pulls this list directly from Twitch, which is pretty great. So the default commands, pretty straightforward. There's not really much you have to do here unless you just wanna turn some of them off. Um, you can also edit like the cooldowns and stuff. So if you feel like people are spamming certain commands, um, you can change them up. Certain commands are automatically only allowed to be used by mods and some of them are only able to be used by super mods. Super mods basically have more stream elements permissions. Um, so if you want someone to help you set up your stream elements stuff and keep that clean, you can add a super mod, which is useful, but I do most of this myself. So the custom commands. Um, so these, you can do a whole bunch of things. I highly suggest you do custom commands for your socials. Um, you can do ones like tweets. Um, you can do, I have one that's a sub count. So what, what you basically wanna do here, if you wanna create custom commands, is look at the variables section, kinda of scroll your way through and see what kind of commands you can create with the custom commands and using these variables and what it'll spit out. So for example, um, I have my sub count one. So um, Kadek is now at this many subscribers if someone decides to, wants to figure that out. Um, I have one for elements of music, which basically just plugs his Bandcamp and his Spotify. If you throw EOM in there. Um, I had one for a charity uh, when I did EOM's charity. Um, so I had one automatically set up for that. And that would be like the kind of command you would throw into your stream title so that people know that you're running a charity and they know to throw that command up so they can figure out what's going on. Um, I also have ones like, you know, check out my build, um, check out where I got my overlays, right? I've used Nerd or Die for my overlays. Um, I got the new merch store. I do shout outs. So if someone comes and raids me, I do a shout out. So you do like exclamation mark shout out. Um, and then you put their username and it automatically fills these sections, which is pretty awesome. So if I do, you know, um, shout out Kadak, it'll say, hey, check out Kadak. They last played this game. Um, at Twitch TV slash and it'll put their username there automatically. So it's pretty great um, I'll copy a bunch of these and I'll paste them into the description. So it makes it easier for you guys to add them to your to your own um, Multi stream is actually really cool so I Use multi stream when I'm watching multiple streamers that are playing the same game and I often play games with other streamers or other people that stream um, so you can basically throw this up and um, it'll just tell people what to use to watch the streamers. I also have it set up so that I can actually put their name in there and it'll automatically add our names into the multi-stream link so that it just gives them the link exactly how they have to have it. Um, I also do the DJ shout outs because I have DJs that we listen to on like Tuesdays, Thursdays and Fridays. Um, although I don't stream on Thursdays anymore. Um, so I have this so that it's basically set up to shout out a very specific person um, with like a different text than the original shout out. Um, I had a drop one for when uh, Valorant had drops on. And then I had one for the food bank when we were raising money for the food bank. And then one for the store and all that kind of stuff. So. Commands really allow you to play around with as many as you like. I'll copy and paste as many ones as I think will be useful for multiple people to be using, and I'll put them in the description. Uh, and feel free to just play around with these and you know enjoy yourself. Make some fun ones if you want. Um, you get a lot of flexibility here. There's a lot of variables. 
and you can look up tons of commands that people use in stream elements everywhere. So feel free to really play around with that as much as you'd like. Um, and now we get to the spam filters. So most of my filters, I use them directly in Twitch. So I don't use any of the filters here. Um, but if you've decided you want to like make it so that people can't put really long messages, people can't use a lot of symbols. This one's good if you find that people are using a lot of symbols to get around your banned words. Um, you can throw on symbol protection. Really up to you. I like using the ones on Twitch more. It just gives me more you like control because it'll hold the messages first and then I can choose to approve or deny them that way. So I like using it that way. Um, but you can use these as well. And then timers are really great because again, for your socials, um, you can throw your Discord, your Twitch, I mean, sorry, your Twitter, um, you know, remind people that if you have Amazon Prime, you can link it with your Twitch and then you get to subscribe for free, uh, which is always a great thing because a lot of people don't know that it exists, especially people that are new to the platform. Um, you know, a fun little message about becoming a sub and, you know, sub subscribing, you'll really help support the streamer and stuff like that. Um, and you can set as many of these as you like. And um, there's three sections for it, you know, based on the interval in minutes when you're online. The offline one isn't really that big of a deal unless you're a big streamer and you have a lot of people just sit in your chat when you're not streaming. Um, and then the chat lines. So make sure you don't have a bunch of timers on the same chat line interval especially and then the same time interval because if you have that you'll just be filling up your chat with bot messages instead of people actually talking um, and make sure you have it reasonable for the speed that your chat normally moves at um, you don't want to have half of your messages be actual people and then the other half be a bot you just want your bot to kind of sprinkle some messages in there every once in a while just to remind people and to get the new people aware of that I have a Discord and that I have a Twitter uh, and that I had the merch store set up. So yeah, that's the basics of the bot. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Um, I will do another video on Streamlabs if people feel they need it. Um, yeah. So again, if you have any questions about today's video, feel free to leave a comment in the section below or check out my Discord. I've got tons of people who stream all different types of content um, and people just that love helping out and chatting with new people. So feel free, link in the video description below for that one. Um, and again, I stream on Twitch um, Tuesdays. So if you have any questions about today's video, feel free to leave a comment in the section below, or you can join my Discord. We've got tons of people who stream all different types of content, um, from DJs to artists to gamers, um, and we've got a lot of people in there that just love to help other people out and have conversations. So I will leave a link in the description below for that. Um, and again, I also stream on Twitch from Fridays until Tuesdays. Um, jump in the chat, say hello ask any questions you'd like. I'd love, I love interacting with my chat. So, um, you know, again, link in the video description below. And if you enjoyed this video, if you thought it was helpful, please, uh, like, and subscribe, hit that notification bell. You know, it helps with the algorithm and all that fun stuff. And, um, I'll see you guys next week. Thanks. I have a special uh, sound I just I just set up for it. <laughs> <laughs> With 70 Oh shit, hold on. I don't have enough money myth. for chicken nugget. <laughs> <laughs> did he do it? That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> there's there's three mid by the way. <laughs>